In this video, I'm going to talk about a older type electric panel, um, sometimes called a split bus panel. Unlike newer modern uh, modern panels, which have one disconnect, uh, these have two main disconnects. Uh, in, a, in, a, in a newer panel, you just pull a, one fuse or um, trip one circuit breaker, the master or the main, and it shuts off everything in the panel. That's not the case in these. Uh, here's the main breaker right here. And if you pull that, we see the, the electricity just went out. All the lights and everything went out. But this panel is not completely uh, dead yet. There's a second pull out down here. It's uh, often labeled range, and that's actually what it's for. It's an electric range. And if you um, can see the light on my electrical tester here, when I touch the, the contacts for the range, the, pan the um, tester indicates that uh, th that's still alive. That's still hot. So we don't shut off everything in this panel until we pull that range fuse as well. And now everything down here should be should be off. Yeah. So now I see my tester does not light up now. We've pulled that that range fuse. So this can be a little bit tricky uh, in determining the circuit size or the service size because if you look at the, at the uh, fuses from the main, the top, uh, it says 60, 60 amps. Uh, but this is not a 60 amp panel. In this case, you can count the, the main uh, fuses on top and the range on the bottom and uh, you come up with, uh, with 100. Um, these actually may not be 40s. These are probably, well, these are only 20s. But... Um, it could go up to a 40 amp in the lower uh, range and um, you know up to 100 amp totals for this panel. So watch for these um, when you're trying to figure out uh, what size your service is. At a glance it may look like a 60 amp service but uh, it, in reality it, it may be 100. This one has some other obvious issues. There was no panel cover here. We got some wires uh, just going in right through the face and make it, making it impossible to even put a, a cover on this panel at this point. Um, we got some older uh, type fuses, the kind that can be um, swapped out. For example, uh, this, this one is the old Edison-based fuse. It's a 20 amp. If somebody wanted to, they could remove that and put in a, a 30 amp Edison-based fuse. That would not be safe. Uh, all these fuses right now are 20 amp. Um, Probably, I haven't really looked at all the wires that carefully, but chances are at least some of those circuits are designed only for 15 amps. So you got to watch out for those too. But uh, the, main, the main idea here was to talk about the split bus panel. I'm Barry Eliason. I'm a home inspector with Structure Tech Home Inspections.